Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says an overnight missile strike that killed dozens of Palestinians in Rafah was a tragic mistake. This is happening as international pressure is building on Israel. Trey Yingst has more. As Israeli forces push deeper into Gaza's southern city of Rafah, an investigation is underway into an airstrike that killed dozens of civilians on Sunday. Palestinian health workers claim refugee tents were deliberately targeted and at least 45 people were killed. But Israel says without evidence, it struck Hamas commanders unintentionally, setting off a fire that killed civilians nearby. The incident prompting more pressure from the international community and a new push for a pause in the fighting. We want to, to work for peace. We, want to, we, want, we are in favor of ceasefire. We are against attack. Rafa. The Israeli military says it, quote, regrets any harm to non-combatants, but won't stop the Rafa offensive, claiming it's the only way to root out thousands of Hamas fighters, blending into the civilian population there. Hamas is holding 125 of our people hostage across our border in Gaza. We will not stop fighting for their freedom. European foreign ministers meeting in Brussels on Monday to coordinate their response. Some EU officials say they're getting closer to recognizing a Palestinian state and claim Israel could do the same if public opinion turns against the war. I know that the current Israeli government is not convinced of that. And we have to work in order to make this idea to go to the public opinion. The attack on Sunday came just two days after the International Court of Justice ordered Israel to stop its offensive into Rafah. In Tel Aviv, Trey Yinkst, Fox 32, Chicago.